Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. And in this video, I will show you how to make a complete website with beautiful animation using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Let's quickly see the demo website that you will learn to create in this tutorial. As you can see, here is the top banner with logo and menu icon. After that, we have a welcome message and call to action button with fade up animation. In the next section, we have image, text and one YouTube video also. Next we have services section with icons and uh, with beautiful sliding animation. In the next section, we have two column with image and some featured text. I have applied fade in left fade in right effect in this section i have also applied parallax effect in this section next we have testimonial with fade in right fade in left and fade in up animation effect and finally we have a footer with four different column and one copyright text i'll teach you to create this complete website in this single video. I will also tell you how you can download this source code. Before we start creating this website, I will request you to please subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Now let's start making this website. This is my project folder. In this folder we have one images folder you can see we have so many image and one index.html file and one css file now i will show you my css file it is blank and this is my html file okay here i have already linked my css file to html now i'll go to the google and type get bootstrap open the first url and scroll down and just copy this css link Okay, copy and paste it in your HTML file in the head section. Now I will copy the next file, this one, next code and I will paste it here. I am removing these things because this is not required. Okay, after linking all the bootstrap CSS and these scripts. Now come to the body and here I'll write one comment that is header. Okay, here I'll create the header section. So simply create one uh, section here. section with id i will write header okay next we will create a navigation bar here okay for that just go to the same website bootstrap click on documentation scroll down and in the left side you can see here components click on this one and scroll and you can see a nav bar here okay open this and a scroll and you need to copy this code from here okay i will select this one and simply copy and paste it in your html file now i will preview my website so you can see a navigation bar on this website okay now i need to change some text here first of all i'll write some code in css margin 0 padding 0 and next i'll write code for this header section so i'll write hashtag header 
then background image and url and background image file path i will give here and then height will be 80 vertical height and background size will be cover background position will be center now you can see a image over here next i'll remove these things and from last menu also i'll remove this active and okay now you can see this i'll change this text first one will be home the second menu will be about us then third services and next features next one will be review and the next one will be contact us now refresh and you can see all this menu here on the top Now I will remove this class name from here ok and save this file and again refresh so you can see a menu icon on the right side ok and the title in the left side. Now just copy this class name and I will write float right color triple f important and this code will apply to a, a tag ok now you can see this menu when you will click on this icon next i will add one logo here so simply add img src and image file name here with actual file path and save this changes and you can see a logo here now i will remove this icon and i will add some font awesome icon okay for that go to the google search the font awesome and copy this url paste this font awesome CDN link here ok now here I will add one icon I'll search for font awesome icon open this website and here you can search any icon I'll search for bars and here it is open this one and copy and paste it here i'll remove the extra things save this changes and reload your web page so you can see a different icon here okay it is little bit small now i'll resize the logo size okay for that i'll copy this class name paste it in the css file and after that I'll write img and width will be 150 pixel and some margin from left side 30 pixel. Now refresh your web page and you can see a small logo here. Now I'll copy this toggler class, paste it here. The border will be none.
so now we finished our banner section next we will create our welcome text section okay for that here i'll write one comment that is welcome text okay then i'll create one section here i'll give this section id welcome then i'll create one class container that is bootstrap class and next i'll write one another class name that is welcome and i'll use the bootstrap class text center and in this div i'll write the title create website with animation and next i'll write some more text here like this video and subscribe easy tutorials channel to watch more videos for developing website with html css and bootstrap don't forget to press bell icon to get daily updates now refresh your page and you can see a title and some text here. After adding this text, I'll add one button here. So simply I'll write button type submit class btn and I'll write one more class home btn and button close and the button text will be subscribe now refresh this page and you can see a, a small button here now i'll copy this class name first i'll write one comment here in the css file welcome text and i'll write the class name dot welcome and the padding will be 50 pixel and 100 pixel 50 pixel from top and bottom and 100 from left and right margin top will be minus 140 pixel background color will be white and box shadow i will add here A very light box shadow I'll copy this class name and then I'll write h1 this title color will be 333 three, three. Now you can see the changes, there is small change in color. Again I will copy and paste this and now I will copy this class name for button home btn ok and I will change the margin top 10 pixel, padding 10 pixel and 30 pixel border radius 30 pixel and color white i'll add background color here that's it now reload your website and you can see a beautiful button here again i will copy this class name and i'll write this button btn focus box shadow none so now there is no shadow when you will click on this button so now we have finished our welcome text section next we will create about section so here i am writing one 
comment okay after that i'll create one section id id i'll write about then i am creating one class container and there will be one more class row because we will create columns here okay so in this row i am creating one column call md6 and text center so we have created two columns here in the first column i'll add one image and i'll use the class image flute now refresh this website and you can see one image in the left side okay now in the right column i will add some text i'll change this class to text justify and here i will add title in the h3 tag knowledge skills and hard work next i will write some text so simply i'll copy it from top paste it here I will paste it two times so you can see a text on the right side now I will copy this ID about and here first I will write one comment about us then I will paste this ID with hashtag then padding top 100 pixel padding bottom 100 pixel so now you can see proper space here now again i'll copy this and i'll copy this column name column class name and for this column I will add some padding 20 pixel 10 pixel again I will copy this and I will change it to h3 and margin will be 20 pixel auto okay you can see a space after this text now i will copy this column i will paste it again and let's change this title hard work in silence refresh this page and you can see another text in the left side okay now again i will copy this column paste it here And in this column, I will add YouTube video. So I am creating one div here. The class name will be Embed Responsive. Embed Responsive 16 by 9. This will be the ratio of video dimension. Now I will search any video on YouTube. I'll type yoga class and let's see 
any video let's use this one just open this video and here you can see a share button share text okay i'll click on this one and here is the embed option click on this one and you got the embed code so simply copy this one and paste it here after that you can see a width and height here correct so we need to replace that so simply copy the above class name paste it here embed responsive and i'll write here embed responsive item that's it save these changes and now reload your page you can see a youtube video here so finally we have finished our about us section also next we will create another section okay for that i am writing one comment here services and let's create one section id will be services then one container here and in this container i'll create one row and in this row there will be three column so i am using here call md4 so total i'll create three column so first i'll add one image here so we have one small image here just write the correct image path and exact image file name and after that there will be one text i'm using it in uh, h4 tag mixed martial arts and next there will be some small text simply copy from the above text now i will refresh this page and you can see a first column here with a small image title and a small description now i'll copy this column and paste it again for two times first i'll change the image here gym.png and the title will be gym and next we have another image called boxing.png and the title will be boxing now refresh this page and you can see three different column with different image and text now i'm copying this id and first i'll write one comment here services and i'll put the id here with hashtag and next i'll add background color here i'll add some padding from top and bottom also 80 pixel copy it again and i'll use this column class and for this column i'll add some padding 20 pixel and again copy this one and write h4 here okay for this title i'll add padding 5 pixel again copy and paste and write img and the image width will be 50 pixel again copy and paste it 
and here I'll write P and uh, padding will be 5 pixel text align justify refresh this page and you can see a proper alignment padding and text justified so finally we have finished our services section also next we will create another section for that i'll write one comment here features and here i'll create one section with id features again i will use one container class in this container we will having two column okay for that i am creating one row and after that column call md6 in the first column i will add one image i have a one PNG image here let's see this web page so you can see one image in the left side okay now I'll copy this ID come to the CSS file write one comment features and the ID here and for this section also I will add some padding from top and bottom also and in background I will add one image with some linear gradient color over it The background position will be center and background size will be cover and background attachment will be fixed. Color has triple F. Let me correct this one and now refresh this page and you can see a background image here now again i'll copy this id paste it here and i will copy this column class name and let's write one padding 20 pixel and you can see a proper padding here now i'll create the right column here okay and in the right column we will have some text so in the right section we will write three features so i'll create three different box so i am writing one feature box and inside this feature box there will be one more div feature left and feature right in the left feature left we will have one image and feature right we will have some text now i will copy this icon and paste it here in the left section and i will change this icon name trophy and in the right side I'll write one title
and some small text. This is a big text, I will remove this one. Now refresh this page, you can see one icon and text here. Now I'll copy this feature box, everything from this feature box. Paste it for two times and just need to replace this icon name and title. For third one also. Now refresh this page and you can see the three featured text here. Now I'll copy this class name and come to the CSS file, paste it here. The height will be 120 pixel. And again copy this class name featured left. And for this one also height 120 pixel and width 20%. Float left. Again copy and paste it. And write dot fa for icon padding top will be 13 pixel font size 50 pixel i will copy this class paste it here and i'll change it to right feature right okay height will be 120 and width will be 80 percent Again, I'll copy and paste it and I'll write the H4 here, okay? And for this H4, padding top will be 10 pixel and padding left will be 15 pixel. Text alignment left. Now, I'll write T here, okay? For that, padding left will be 15 pixel and text line left. So now refresh this page and you can see this proper alignment. So finally we finished our feature section also. Next we will create another section. Okay, for that first I'll write one comment testimonials. Okay, next I'll write one section id will be testimonials and in this section again i'll create one container and in this container we will be having three column okay for that i'll create one class row and after that i'll create column For three columns, I will use call md4. First, I'll write some text here in p tag and the class will be review. Just copy and paste this text. Let me add some more text here. After this text, I will write BR to change the line. 
and after that there will be one icon for twitter so paste this icon code and i'll change the class name twitter okay after that we will be having the username here okay that i'll write in span that's it now after adding all this text i will add one user image here user1.jpg save these changes and refresh this website you can see text username and image now copy this id first i'll write one comment in css file also testimonials and i'll paste this id here and for this section also i'll add some padding from top and bottom now refresh this page and you can see some padding okay after that i'll copy this class name paste it here and for this class also i'll add padding 10 pixel 30 pixel Now I'll write code for img and width will be 60 pixel and height also 60 pixel. So you can see a small user image here after this text. Next I'll copy this class name review. And for this class font size will be 16 pixel padding 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel and 30 pixel border radius 10 pixel and small box shadow also Now you can see shadow and some padding and text size. Now come back to this image section and here I'll write border radius is equal to 50%. Margin left minus 30 pixel. Margin top minus 40 pixel. Border 5 pixel solid has triple f margin bottom 30 pixel and now refresh this page and you can see this user icon overlapping on this text now again i will copy this review class and copy this icon class name and this color i will change the color here okay same color i will use for this span also that is our username and font weight will be 600 font size 18 pixel now refresh this website and you can see same color for this text also and icon also now in this section i'll add some title also okay for that i'll write some title after this container h1 class text center 
meet our users okay after that there will be one small text also Okay, now you can see this title and small text for this section. Here I will write BR to change line from here. Now copy this ID. Paste it here. And then H1. margin bottom 20 pixel and color now you can see some margin from bottom and color also now i'll change it to p and some padding from bottom 30 pixel that's it now I'll copy this complete column I'll copy the first column and paste it here for two times and just change the user icon user image and refresh this page so you can see three testimonials here in three columns i'll reduce this padding 20 pixel now it's looking good now i'll create one class here middle for the middle testimonial okay and i'll use this class name in css file and for this column i'll change the margin margin bottom and margin top also and it will be minus 30 pixel okay save this and refresh your page so you can see a middle testimonial a little bit up so finally we finished our testimonial section also okay next we will create another section for that i'll write one comment here okay and after the comment i'll create one section id and id will be subscribe and again one container in this section and one more div here i'll write the div class here subscribe and text center class name then i'll write one title here join for free trial now in the next line i'll add some small text Subscribe our newsletter and get 30 days free trial. Now refresh this website and you can see a title and a small text here. Now I'll copy this class name and 
come back to the CSS file. Let me write one comment here. I'll put dot because it is a class name. The padding will be 20 pixel, 50 pixel from top and bottom and 20 from left and right. Background color, position, box shadow. And refresh this page so you can see a background color and box shadow for this section now again copy this class name here and write h3 and the color will be as triple f that is white and same color i'll use for this p also Okay, now it is clearly visible. Next, after adding all this text, I'll create one subscription form here. Okay, for that, just create this class input group. Then input type email. class form control and placeholder email id and refresh this page you can see a form here input box next i need to create one button also for that i will use this class name and button also and the button text will be subscribe save these changes and refresh your page and you can see this button in this input box now i'll copy this class name and come to this css paste it here border radius will be 30 pixel background has triple f that is white maximum width will be 500 pixel margin 10 pixel auto and padding now you can see a small box here okay simply copy and paste it here and copy this class form control paste it here Border will be none. Background transparent. Now again copy it. And focus. Box shadow none. Copy and paste it here and copy this class name I'll add some color on this button 
this will be linear gradient color border radius will be same 30 pixel let's copy this class name from html and paste it here and css file background will be transparent and border none color white and refresh this page and you can see a beautiful button in this input box now copy and paste this one and copy this class name btn focus box shadow will be none refresh this page and now we have finished our subscription section also next we will create another section okay so first i'll write one comment here footer section now let's create one section and id will be footer and in this footer i'll create one container again and in this container i'll write one row and in this row there will be four columns to create four columns i'll use call md3 so this will be the first column and in this first column i'll add one logo here so i have different logo here logo.png and I'll let's write one class name footer logo after this logo there will be some small text also so I'll copy from top and paste it here and refresh this website and you can see logo and the small text in the first column of the footer now come to the CSS write one comment here footer and ID will be footer here and margin top 80 pixel padding 100 pixel background color and color now refresh this page and you can see a background color and text color also now copy this logo class footer logo and width will be 150 pixel margin top 25 pixel margin bottom 15 pixel that's it now you can see a small logo in this footer Now I'll copy this first class name and paste it here and let's change the content in this column. This will be the second column and the title will be features. I'll add four text here.
Now refresh this website and you can see the second column also. Now copy this ID, paste it in the CSS file and write h1. Font size will be 15 pixel. Text align left. Margin top 25 pixel. Margin bottom 25 pixel. Refresh this page and you can see a small text here. Copy and paste it. I'll change it to P. The font size will be 12 pixel. Text align left. Now refresh this page and you can see a small text for this feature text also. Next I'll copy this column and paste it here. This will be the third column. Okay, and let's change the title. It will be quick contact. And in this column, I'll use some icons also. So let me copy one icon code and paste it here. Let's change the icon name that is phone square. This will be for phone number. Now duplicate this one four times. Let's change the icon name. The second one will be envelope. And here are some email id this is a demo email id and the another icon and address and for last one i'll remove the icon and i'll put one class name here that is city Refresh this page and you can see a uh, icon and text here in the third column. Now copy this column and paste it here. And let's change the title. Follow us on. And here I'll change the icon that is Facebook official text will be facebook and duplicate this one and let's change the icon name youtube play linkedin Twitter. Let's change the title also YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Let's refresh the website and you can see icon and text here for the fourth column. Now come to the CSS file. Copy this one and paste it here and paste this class name city. Let's add margin from left side 37 pixel. Now you can see it is aligned right side because I will add some margin from this icon also. Let's copy this, paste it here and here 
I'll put the class name FA and uh, some padding from left side no padding from right 20 pixel and font size 15 pixel now you can see it is aligned proper After creating all these four columns, I'll put one HR here, okay, to create one horizontal line. And after that, I'll write one copyright text here. So let's create one class name copyright. And text will be made with one heart icon. And after that, by easy tutorials okay save these changes and refresh this website you can see these text in the left side now copy this and paste it here and here i'll write hr the margin top will be 10 pixel copy and paste it and I'll copy this class name of this icon and the color will be red font size 17 pixel now you can see red color icon here Again copy and paste it and copy this class name copyright paste it here and uh, here I'll write margin bottom minus 80 pixel text align center font size 15 pixel now you can see these text are aligned in the center Just copy this row and paste it here before this FA. Okay, now refresh this page so you can see a proper spacing for this icon also. So finally, we have finished our footer section also. Now, welcome to the subscribe area, and in this subscribe class name, I'll put the margin bottom minus 160 pixel. And refresh this website and you can see it is aligned a little bit down okay it is overlapping to the footer section now it's looking very beautiful so finally we have finished complete part of this website next we'll add some a scrolling effect and animation also For a scrolling effect, I'll search smoothscroll.js on Google and open this URL. And here you can see one download option also. First you can see this one is the creator for this code. Smooth scroll and click here and you can download this file this button download zip download this one and here I have a downloaded file zip file I will extract it okay now let's open this file let's see what's inside there's another folder and in this folder I'll go to this folder dist open this dist folder and I'll copy this one smooth scroll.js file just copy this one 
and go to your project folder. And create one folder here, JS. Open this folder and paste this smooth scroll.js file here. Now come back to this website, scroll down. Okay, now you can see this a script here that you have to add in your HTML file. So simply copy this one and come to the HTML file and scroll to bottom. Okay, just above the closing body tag, let's write one comment here. Smooth scroll. JS and paste this script here. Okay, after adding this script, I'll come to the top. And in menu section, you can write the hashtag section ID. Okay, the for first one I'll write has top it will scroll to the top and for next one i'll write the id about and the next id is features and the next id is uh, testimonials open this menu and click on anyone so now you can see if i'll click on the services it is scrolling to the services section let's click on the review and it is scrolling to the meet our user section okay let's click on the contact and it is scrolling to the footer where we have contact information but it is little bit faster so for that i'll open this js file in my text editor and scroll down and here you can see speed and duration so right now it is 500 millisecond so I'll change it to 1000 millisecond that's it save these changes and again come back to the website and reload this website and now let's click on any menu so now you can see it is scrolling a little bit slow that is very smooth so finally we have created smooth scrolling effect on our website okay next we will add animation on our website okay for that i'll search animate.js Okay, you can search animate.css and open this link.
in your head. zip file I'll extract this one animation and let's link this js file with this css file so simply write this code and after that go back to this website Scroll down Here you can see one line of code Ok, just copy this one And come to the HTML file Here write a script And in this script paste the same code that's it now we can easily use animation so this is how you can use this one okay you have to write the wow and then animation name here this class name i'll copy and come to the html file let me apply this one in welcome section so here is our welcome div ok i'll paste it here save these changes and now refresh your website Now you can see it is sliding from left to center.
ओके नाउ ऑन दिस वेबसाइट यू कैन सी दे आर सो मेनी क्लासेस ओके फॉर डिफरेंट एनिमेशन इफेक्ट सो यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दिस क्लास नेम फॉर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एनिमेशन लेट मी यूज अनदर वन सो लेट मी सर्च वन फेड इन अप okay i'll copy this class name and just replace this one save this changes and again refresh your website now you can see this section is sliding up from the bottom my recorder is not capturing this one perfectly but this is very beautiful now i will write another effect in another section okay so simply i'll copy one class name i'll use the different class fade in left okay and paste it here that's it now again i will copy this and let me paste in the right column and here i'll change this class name to fade in right this is another class name and coming to the third section third column let's paste the same code and the fourth one and the fourth one fade in now just copy this class and paste it in this row fade in up again i'll copy this class name and i'll add this animation in image also and title also okay for that i'll paste it in the animation let's create one class here and paste it here and for this one let's use any other fade in right animation let's copy this and paste it in title also this will be same fade in right okay now refresh this page and you can see this text and image sliding from right to center now again come to this github link and scroll down and here you can see one class name delay 2s okay it means delay by 2 second so just copy it and paste it here okay for this image i'll use delay 1 second and for this text i'll use delay 2 second now refresh and you can see the delay in image and text also 
so let's copy this class for other column also one second delay for image and two second delay for title that's it now save this page and refresh your website now you can see this entire row is sliding from bottom to up title are sliding from right to center now i'll apply animation to the another section that is feature okay so let's come to this column and write this wow fade in left and for right and for right column i'll write wow fade in up sorry fade in down that's it refresh this page and you can see this image is sliding from left to right and text from top to bottom now coming to the next section testimonial i'll write animation class here let's write some delay also and refresh this website you can see delay in the middle column now i'll change the delay in left and right and there will be no delay in middle one now refresh this page so you can see the middle column is coming first then left and right okay now i'll add animation in this subscription form so copy this one and let's come down and paste this one in this div also okay and let's write one delay one second so you can see it is a scrolling from bottom to up in one second delay so finally we have finished our animation part also now you have learned how to create this complete fitness website using html css and bootstrap if you have any doubt about this video you can ask in the comment section and if you want to get this source code you can join my channel membership let's open my youtube channel and if you are not a member of my channel let's go to the community tab and you can see there is only one post here okay nothing else but once you will join my channel membership you can see all my videos source code here okay you can download all my videos source code from google drive link and here is the joining button okay i will also put the joining link in the description so you can simply click and join my channel membership to get access to all my new and old videos source code if you like this video or if this video is helpful for you please like this video and subscribe my channel and also share this video to all your friends all students who need this video thank you so much for watching